I'm Raymond Flood and I'm the current Gresham Professor of Geometry and this is the third year that I've been in that position. Well it's now I think formally called the Gresham Professor of Geometry and Other Mathematical Sciences but I, I think it is probably the oldest geometry professorship in, the, uh, in England. My series this year is entitled Great Mathematicians and Great Mathematics and we're looking at six mathematicians, um, look at some of the marvellous work that they did and then look at some of the modern applications and modern developments of, of that work. Um, so it's got a historical component to it and it's got a component that's uh, relevant to modern mathematics and also to show you some of the arguments and some of the proofs that they may have done as well. One of the most interesting of the six mathematicians that I'm going to be talking about this year is Isaac Newton. And Isaac Newton is probably one of the most famous mathematicians in the world and was a co-discoverer of the calculus and also explained the, the motion of the planets, the motion of the tides, the, the motion of comets through his law of universal gravitation and through his laws of motion. Um, also a very interesting and fascinating character with a, really a very suspicious and neurotic and tortured personality. So the lecturer will be sharing some of that with the audience as well as some of his other achievements. I'll also be covering Fermat um, and I think Fermat's last theorem is one of the most famous mathematical results in the world and then all their mathematicians, perhaps not as, wild, uh, not as well known, such as Euler and Fourier of Fourier series, which many people who have been to university or college doing um, engineering will be well aware of, and also other mathematicians such as Mobius in the development of topology and um, Cantor with um, the set theory. I think what the audience could expect to get from attending the lectures is, I think first and foremost, an, an informed overview of the topic that I'll be speaking about and with guidance as to other areas that they can go away and find out more. But I think the core thing is that they will have a framework that they can start to hang any subsequent work on um, while at the same time having something which is self-contained and hopefully um, understandable um, to those from a large variety of different backgrounds. What I want to hope to achieve in my lectures is to try to enthuse people with the sense of excitement um, and enthusiasm that I really have in sort of appreciating and understanding mathematics and that's why I always try to include one or two proofs in each lecture so that people can see um, the mechanism of how mathematicians um, get results and how they go about improving um, things. I think the thing I find most exciting about the lecture series for this year is that it tries to show mathematics as a, a dynamic and creative activity. It's not something that always has been there. It's something that is created by people and is created by people collaborating or working alone or working together. And they create new mathematics, they prove new mathematics and they develop. It's, it's a dynamic subject that people are contributing to.